Greetings from the Department of Vascular Surgery, Manipal Hospital. I am Dr. Aziz Pasha. I am going to brief you on varicose veins. Varicose veins are dilated, tortuous, elongated veins in the legs. Most of the people do not experience any pain, but the signs and symptoms of this condition include veins that are swollen, lumpy and look twisted, dark purple and bluish veins, pain and aches in the legs, heaviness of the legs especially after exercise or at night, Bleeding with minor injuries that is difficult to stop, swankle ankles and legs, spider veins, discoloration of the skin, severe itching of the affected part, cramps in the legs while standing for a long time, and then ulceration. Coming to the risk factors, it is more common in females between the age group of 40 to 50. It can be hereditary, commonly seen during pregnancy, and people who have standing occupations like teachers, barbers, policemen, obesity, then prior injury or surgery, sedentary lifestyle. Coming to the complications, the most common complication is hemorrhage from the ruptured varicose veins. Then we have pigmentation, itching and dermatitis, venous ulcers, lipo, lipotodermatosclerosis, and then we deep vein thrombosis and recurrent thrombophlebitis. Coming to the evaluation, all the patients should be examined both clinically as well as ultrasound examination. Coming to the treatment of venous insufficiency, there is a conservative management, open management, endovenous therapy which includes thermal and non-thermal. Treatment of venous insufficiency, the first line always should be conservative management. Patient is advised to do exercise daily, elevate the legs often, wear medical grade compression stockings. The present therapy, endovenous therapy, which we regularly do, in this we have both thermal and non-thermal. In thermal, we have endovenous radiofrequency ablation, endovenous laser ablation, endovenous steam ablation, and the non-thermal are chemical, mechanico-chemical, and the glue that is called as venoseal. Indications for venous endovenous procedure, failed conservative therapy, signs and symptoms of venous insufficiency, reflex proven by duplex scan. The advantages of, of uh, endovenous therapy, there's less operative pain, less complication, early return of work and better quality of life.